Hi there, I'm Nikki Hart and welcome to Design Like a Pro. In this episode, I'm taking a section out of a previous tutorial and that is the print to booklet feature in InDesign where I really dissect how to do that. I'm taking a feature out of that and that's the end part where you're dealing with the distiller and you're saving out your final PDF. A lot of you commented on having some issues with that and while I did address it briefly in the tutorial, I wanna take it out and focus even more on the potential issue that you run across in this episode just so that you have a little bit more to go on for solving it yourself. This is primarily going to affect Mac users who use InDesign on a Mac and then have to save out a PostScript file and then use Distiller to create a PDF of that PostScript file. And the reason that you have to do this on a Mac is because Mac operates differently. They don't have the print server that a PC does when it comes to PDFs. So you can print to booklet on a PC and avoid the step altogether, which is really convenient actually. But I do wanna show you how to do this on a Mac because most of us are going to run across this. And it's really just an extra step to create that final PDF. But what a lot of you are running into was issues with the final page size. So you have your PostScript file and you're ready to save it and you go and you drag it into the distiller and it doesn't look right. So I wanna show you what that looks like and how to address it. It's one setting in your PDF preset that is affecting that entire output as far as the size goes. So let's see what's happening first. So I have a pre, uh, PostScript file ready to go here. This is from the previous tutorial. So we're gonna use it again and go through this process. So I'm not making any changes. I've opened Distiller by default. I'm just using the default preset. This is probably what's happening with a lot of you. You're just setting this to press quality and you're dropping this PostScript file in here and letting it run. And what happens when you do this is you're going to see here in a brief second that it doesn't look the way that we want it to look. So here we have the PDF and it opened automatically for us and we can see immediately what's wrong. While we are looking at all of this, a lot of you had issues where like half of the booklet would be gone and that has to do with the booklet size. This is a smaller booklet, so we are seeing all of it, but we have this weird white space at the top on all of our pages. And so sending this off to the printer like that is not going to be ideal. So what is going on? Well, a quick look here is going to help us when we come up here to file and we go to properties. And then we look at our page size and we can see here that it is a standard eight and a half by 11, a letter for those of you in the United States or an A4 for those of you in other countries. So that's what's wrong. It's basically putting out our smaller booklet onto a standard piece of paper. That's not inherently wrong, but that's what we basically told the distiller to do. And we don't want that. We want to refine our page size to get that to fill our page. So how do we do that? Again, it's one setting that we need to look at. So what I'm gonna do is come up here and leave this as is, come up here to settings, edit Adobe PDF settings. And we can see here that we have the issue right here, eight and a half by 11. So we need to change that. This is going to be different for every single one of you depending on your actual booklet size. So in the case of this tutorial, we have a four by six booklet. That means that it's four inches wide by six inches high folded. So what we need to take into account is that when we're looking at our booklet and we're sending it to our printer, it's not folded. It's actually flat. We have the page on the left and the page on the right. So we need to accommodate for that in our actual default page size that we're going to put in here. So the first step is to look at the width. Now the width I said was four inches, but in reality it's double that because of the fact that we have the left and the right side of our booklet. So we really need to make the width eight inches. And we're not done yet because we also have the bleed to accommodate for. And that bleed is what we already set in our document at the very beginning of the tutorial previously. And that's what we said in InDesign. So we wanna mirror that here. So that's an additional 0.58 inches that we're gonna add. 
Now that number comes from the addition of all four sides. Remember that. So you have the width on the left and you have the width on the right and then you have the height on the top and the bottom. So if you have an eighth of an inch bleed, for example, you need to multiply that by the left and the right. And the same is true for our height. The only difference is, is that our height is going to remain at six because we're not adjusting the height just because we have a folded booklet. The height remains the same, but it too has the same bleed as the width. So we need to add that dimension to our height as well. And a couple other things you want to make sure that our image quality is set to maximum. Our color for me is converting all to CMYK. We are going to preserve everything else. We can come over here to advanced and pretty much leave that on our default. And then before we say okay, we want to come over here and save this. And so I'm going to say that this is my default press quality four by six booklet. So you can be very specific so that you know exactly what this preset is for. You need to be specific because you know now that this is for my four by six booklet. So anytime I create a booklet, I can use this preset as long as it's four by six. If I create a larger booklet, this preset is no longer going to work and I'm going to have the same problem I did before where it's not going to fill the page correctly. So if you do multiple sizes as far as booklets go, you may need to create multiple presets to accommodate that. So then we're going to hit save and now we're ready to go. You can see our default setting is now showing our latest preset. If I click and drag our postscript file, it's going to delete the old file. We don't need it. That's totally fine. And we're going to create a new PDF. Okay, so now you can see that we have our default preset ready to go. So all that we have to do is come over here and drag our postscript file into our distiller again and it's going to create that new PDF. Okay, so now you can see that it is a lot better. It fills the page the way that we want. Our crop marks match up. We can scroll down here to all of our pages and we can see that this is exactly the way that our booklet should print. And the cool thing is, is if we were to print this out right now on our at home inkjet printer or whatever we print, uh, whatever we have available and then staple everything or tape everything back to back, we should be able to create a booklet mock-up on the fly and that's how we know that we have this correct and we can ship this off to the printer and they should be able to take this and create the booklet that you want. So there you have it. That is a look at the common problems that you're going to have between saving out your postscripts file and using it in the distiller to create the booklet that you want. Please leave a comment below if you need some more explanation or if there's anything else that you would like me to cover in an upcoming episode. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest here at Design Like a Pro. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.